We can sell the sofa. We can sell whatever, because we gotta get it fixed. So, lady, don't be mad at us and kick us out of the house. Okay? You got it. Tisha Stout, which is Gannon's stepmother. Uh, you've been a part of the investigation since the very first time. You were the last person to see him. Is that right? Correct. Uh, what What did you see when you last saw him? Well, I'm not allowed to talk about anything with the case. I would more so be willing to talk about how the community needs to have faith and continue to work together and not make these false accusations, like the things that have been said that I've disappeared from the community. I haven't been there to help, but there's lots of reasons behind that. Uh, reasons like death threats, right? Right. Death threats are one of them. My family's getting lots of death threats. We counted over 20 some death threats already. Um, two, my husband's ex-wife is living in our home. And of course, I'm not coming home to do these things and to help with the family when I was kind of like told I couldn't. Um, and then many other things that happen with the El Paso County Police Department, you know, and in doing an investigation, I was told I wasn't complying. And can I elaborate on that? Please do. Yes. So I asked for an attorney during the interview, uh, and I was denied that by them. 
I was held because they were blocking the door and I was told I couldn't leave and that if I would have touched them they would have probably you know said I still wasn't complying or said I was you know trying to run away or something but during the interview I asked several times could I stop the interview could I get an attorney could I stop the interview could I get an attorney I was denied I was told I couldn't get nothing to drink I couldn't go to the bathroom I mean it was continuously that my constitutional rights were violated and that's why you say that they said then you weren't cooperating with the investigation that's why they said I wasn't cooperating at that time correct and why did you ask for an attorney at the time well I asked for an attorney at the time because there was one individual there was two really good detectives and so I'm not you know going to talk bad about detectives but the tactics they started to get when I would answer questions they try to you know they're detectives they're supposed to twist the one main goal is to find Gannon but during that time some of those things made me feel uncomfortable the way they were saying things so I immediately stopped and felt like felt like an attorney would help me with some of the vocabulary and things like that that I needed help with and understand some of the things that they were asking I'm gonna shift gears to what has become a huge online presence of people right. obviously trying to do the right thing mm -hmm. help find Gannon but at the same time sometimes it just feels like we're monitoring have you seen any of those comments yourself we have and see, that's one of the main things we haven't been around in the public eye because we did, I didn't want to expose my family to it if all these things were going on. You know, there was comments about Gannon getting pushed off the hike, and there was comments about this, and that's just not true. I took care of Gannon for the last two years in our home because his mother didn't want to do it. And I would never, never, ever hurt this child. And I know there's some questions out there about, okay, so tell me what happens. That's up to the investigations when they end up letting you guys know, but I've cooperated with them, even to the point that we were held with a gun, and my daughter, a 17-year-old who serves our country in the United States Air Force, who has never committed a crime or done anything wrong in her life, was put in handcuffs over the keys that was in her purse so they could take her car. And they weren't in there? They weren't even in her car. I mean, in her purse. And they were you, in my pocket. You originally didn't even know it was the uh, law enforcement officer? I didn't know it was a law enforcement officer because when he came out, I guess he was putting his jacket on, and it, it wasn't necessarily his fault. He was adjusting and happened to catch me. But I saw the gun, and I panicked originally and kind of thought, oh, gosh, I got the, like, who is this guy? And then once I realized it was the sheriff's office, I was totally okay, but they still had a gun and told me they were going to shoot me. But I was really concerned about my daughter asking why she was being detained in handcuffs and things like that when that shouldn't even happen for a child. That shouldn't happen for someone who was standing inside of a store shopping because we couldn't have any clothes because all of our clothes were here. If we came here and got clothes, you know, we would be harassed. So she went to purchase some underwear and things like that and was putting the handcuffs in the store, you know, and then brought out with men with guns. And there's that, that's just not okay. You know, they could approach me and said, Hi, I'm with El Paso County. Can I please get this instead of the way that it happened? I'm just going to check our chat. Doing great. Still doing the recording. Still can hear you okay. Okay, yeah, it sounds like we're good. Every once in a while, my mic will get out and I want to make sure it's not going to happen here. Okay. I, I should try and clarify here. Not necessarily crime rates, but the way that people are reacting online to rumors about you with the search. Oh, oh yes, wow. The rumors have gotten so bad. Uh, I pretty much have been told at least 10 different ways that these people have these conspiracy theories. I guess they watch a lot of law shows and maybe they have all these theories on how uh, Gannon is dead. And that's what they're saying. So I'm like, why are you saying Gannon is dead? He is not dead. We are going to find Gannon. And that's the main goal that we all have, my family has. Just because you haven't seen us, we have that same goal. We've been out searching. My aunt has been out searching. My family has been out searching. We all have been doing that together so that we can protect each other. How does it feel when not only you have a lost child who you are in care of, but then people blaming you for that child? You know, I, I'm just ready for Gannon to come home. Most importantly for him to see his family, but second, I am going to be so ecstatic when I'm able to say to people that I hope they have a really sincere apology for all these theories that have came out online, for all the things they said that I have done or people have done. I just want everyone to know that we're going to find Gannon, and I love him so much. I've helped taking care of him for so long. Can you talk to me a little bit about him? I don't know him. Gannon is so kind, and he loves to play video games. That's one of his favorite things. He loves Sonic and Mario, and 
you know, he's always helpful, and he was always so helpful with the dogs that are in the house, and we have two little cute dogs, and he was always like a person I could say, Gannon, can, can you go do this, and he would do it right away. You know, sometimes with kids, we have to remind them and things like that, and that's okay, but he was so sweet and able to help anyone. He could notice when you're sick and say, are you okay, and such a kind heart. Um, I know you just said that you can't say anything about the investigation, so you can just say so again if you can't answer this, but... Is there anything we can hear about the hike? Was there a hike? We don't. That just seems like rumors right now. You know what? Um, could we bring uh, my daughter over here? Cause she can. She can go and say that. You know, she came home from work after the hike, and she can verify that Gana was at our home. Okay. Yeah, that's fine with me. And if she doesn't want to, that's okay. But you're allowed. That's to fine. Sound okay so far? Yes. I need Harley. I need Harley. Because they want you to verify was Gannon at home after the hike. Because you didn't go to the hike, but you came home from work. Hmm? Hey, did you say yes? No, just ask the question. Yes, you, you came home from work and you, ver you can verify Gannon was at home. Yeah. I told her she didn't have to be too in-depth because she is still, you know, a child. But I want to make sure that someone knows that there's another person to verify that Gannon... Does she need to hold this? No. Yes, so I came home later that evening. I was at work, and I can verify that he was there that night. So there there was a hike that you guys went on, but then you guys came on. Yes. Where'd you guys go hiking? Garden of the Gods. Oh, yes, okay. Um, I guess when... And then we ate Burger King afterwards, so, you know. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Um, and then it just was, I'm going to go to play at a friend's house. And then it was just... Uh, I'm off to go to plans at a friend's house. Unfortunately, I'm not able to like comment on that anymore. And for that reason, it's because some things have been turned and twisted. And, you know, that was one of those stories you were talking about where people say things. Um, we had to hear things like who would let their child go out at dark and, and things like that. And that and that's just why I don't want to answer that. Um, if I had to give. I'm not going to say that part. That's OK. Never mind. Right. I could take that out. I understand that it, it gets tricky with yeah. stuff. Do you feel like, I asked you what I need to, do you feel like this is going to help kind of turn the tide of what feels like a witch hunt, in my opinion? I hope, is, am I on camera? You are okay, still. Okay. Um, I think that a lot of people can see that I'm not missing and see that I am being cooperative. And But to me, it's okay that they think those things because my the way someone thinks about me, I don't have a problem with that. My main thing is I would never want someone to think that I would hurt Gannon or any of the children in our home because that's just not the case. I've spent my whole entire life working so hard in education. Um, there was even things online that was talking about my education license and I shouldn't even be a teacher. And they just didn't know that. Like we moved on a military move and I didn't finish out my contract. So I gave up my license in that state. Um, it had nothing to do with any criminal activity, you know, or any of those things. And it just got blown out of proportion on my professional status, you know. And do you feel like these are just Internet detectives who think they know what they're doing? It definitely is. And, you know, here's the thing that kind of saddens me. It's like if you're going to talk about someone like that and have a witch hunt out for them, why would you even care, like, about doing those things? Because this is a child. You're telling me that you're just as mean, you're just as hateful to talk about someone else like that. That's how I feel. Like, we just should not. We should all come together and wait until the end and see what happens because Gannon's going to come home. Any message for Gannon? The message for Gannon I have is, Gannon, when you get here, you'll be able to truly tell what happened. And then I really hope I get a sincere apology from everyone who has made all those things, especially from my husband. We just wanted to add a message to Gannon from my family, is that we love you, we miss you, and we hope that you come home soon. And Gannon, I can't wait till you can come home and let everyone know that you're okay. We love you.